eh, ni kitu kipi ambacho ulikuwa yani kinakukasirisha sana kufanya kazi na Ali jambo la kusahau kwako eh, kwenye kazi la kera sana mkabu alikuja tukiwa 38000 na siku ya leo anaondoka tukiwa 245000 Inakuwa jo tuangu nguvu mimi ni Shofizenta Ali yo entertainment PA and by the way the air is always for amazing leo ni siku ambayo it's very emotional for me leo ni siku ambayo siku ana tarajia kwamba you know siku moja itawahi kufika today is the day where mwanangu nguvu director mkabwa is actually uh, living you know kuwa director wa presenter Ali you know for a while now uh, mmekuwa nikisikia pale nikisema kwamba nyuma ama behind the camera tuko na director captain and people have been actually asking me ina e, mkabwa anaenda wapi ama ni nini kimemfanyikia mkabwa ama mmekosana na mkabwa ama umemfuta mkabwa kazi but nimekuja hapa kwa ajili ya kupiga naye story kidogo of course kwa watu ambao wamekuwa wakisikia tu nikitaja director mkabs this is the guy vipi bro poa sana mwa kwaje fiti fiti unasikiaje ah poa sana unasikia poa kwenda <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of, of course for people who don't know pengine presenter Ali na Mukabwa yeah. walipatanaaje kwa ufupi tu wapati hiyo historia uh, ilikuwa siku ile ya, ya Rington eh? mm-hmm. ilikuwa nimeenda ku support Rington ile siku alikuwa amepigwa na Alai yeah. kisema wasanii waende mu support na wakati tulifika pale tulipatana na Kenyan media wengi kina Plug PTG na mi niliamini hiyo siku nitawakana nitafanya kazi na plug yeah. lakini alafu ulikuja mwisho kabisa eh mm, kuja kuchelewa ya yeah. yeah, mkoa na frank mm. eh, so wakati nilikuwa nshaongelesha nini nimewasaidia hata kazi kawa ni labda ni watu tu wamezoea labda kufanya kazi kuna mipango mpangilio yao mm. so wakati ulikuja wakati sasa rington alitoka nikaa nikakuongelesha nikamwambia mwana vipi e, ni nini na kufuata sana kaniambia ni sawa nikamwambia nataka eh, uni na kuomba interview niambia mimi sahi sifanyi interview za za TV za wasanii <laughs> sifanyi sina huo uwezo nikamwambia hapana pia mimi nimetembea kwa eh, kwa watu wa TV umekula pesa mingi airplay awanipati kuwapigia wanatetea ngambe story yako labda ni gani kaguzia kidogo ngambe ah mwana vipi twende mahali e, tukafanye tukapita hivi paka klabu kwanza kanunua lunch kwanza <laughs> tukakula vizuri tukashiba tuko na frank tukafika Kenya National Theater tukafanya hiyo story na wakati nilitea hiyo story ilikuwa uh, very emotional na ikakutouch pia we mwenyewe wakati tulipomaliza interview kirusha ikawa tu ikawa tunaanza kufanya kazi yani mimi siji kuli, kulienda endaje hapo yeah. elimu elimu ilikuwa 38000 subscribers eh. so tukaanza kwa tukiwa eh, okay nilienda home chidul balisha namba kwa kwa tunaongea mwana vipi ni nini eh ama asiana mahusiano yakaendelea tu hivyo kaniambia mwana kaka kuna story mahali unaweza leta story ni nini sasa ambacho kilinishangaza wakati mwezi uliisha kadi nilipata mshahara 8000. Sasa akasema ah, kumbe ni kazi, nimeingia kazi. <laughs> na mambo yakawa hivyo. Mimi sijui saidi yako labda wewe na labda kama unakumbuka kitu mimi sikumbuki. Uh, yeah. uh, one of the things ambazo pengine nakumbuka ni ah uh, kweli hata mimi sijui mimi na mkabwa tulianza kufanya aje kazi, but nilijipata tu mimi na mkabwa tunafanya kazi. And of course now later on when uh, our friend and director Frank alipoondoka mm. ndo sasa mkabwa akachukulia na kuendelea na kazi. Yeah. So unaweza usini usini pake mafuta mbele ya watu lakini mm. nasema tu hivi mm. eh, experience ya kufanya kazi na team presentali imekuwa kwa kina wewe kumefanya nimepata heshima. Unajua kuna mtu anaweza kaa na yeye au pati kitu chochote lakini au pia jina lako likaharibika. Lakini eh, sitaki nikusifie nisema ati nimepata hela nyingi ama nime maisha yangu yamebadilika lakini naweza sema nimepata heshima kwa kina wewe pia mi ni mtu napenda ku travel na Kenya nime nimeenda nimezoea kwenda Kakamega Kitale na Kuru Eldoret lakini sasa nimekupatana na wewe nime 
limetoka paka nje ya nchi unajua ni kitu kubwa sana naweza jivunia kwa sababu kuna watu wawili watatu naweza kainua simu yangu nikawapigia Tanzania kunaendelea aje ama <laughs> unaona ikawa ni experience poa yani kwa na wewe e, tuseme hii mambo na e, ugomvi kwa kazi mambo ya kawaida sana e, mwisho wa siku tuna tunakuwa tunaelewana sana lakini mimi ninaweza sema yani experience ya kwa na wewe yani imekuwa kwangu ime, imenipa heshima na imefanya ni muamini Mungu sana sana sana. Yeah. E, ni kitu kipi ambacho ulikuwa yani kinakukasirisha sana kufanya kazi na Ali. Wewe mtu wa kusahau yani. <laughs> eh hey, kusahau yani. Sisi nimesahau kadi. <laughs> Wewe tukienda tuki, tukienda nini? Ilikuwa tuende Mombasa na ndege. Tukiwa na DV nikaambia mimi sitaki kwenda na ndege kwa sababu sijapanda train nataka nimalize laana za train kwanza ndio sasa tukirudi tuende na ndege haikawa hivyo lakini sasa cha ajabu sana tukifika Mombasa kurudi tu rudi na train julipoteza ID <laughs> tukarudi na matatu yeah, yeah. Yeah, ilikuwa nataka yeah, eh yeah. ilikuwa tumeagree tutakuja mchana ndio nione wanyama nini unaelewa nione ile mantari yale mazuri lakini sasa ukaniangusha ukapoteza ID na kuuliza ulipoteza nikaitafuta sipati sasa eh, jambo, jambo la kusahau kwako eh, kwenye kazi la kera sana lakini mtu asipokuzoea yeye eh, anaweza hata amka kesha sema siendi <laughs> siendi kufanya kazi nilo kijana <laughs> ya yeah, ni, ni, ni mambo ambayo lakini kusahau ni kitu ambacho cha kawaida sana binadamu tumeumbwa kusahau yeah. Yeah. then eh, jambo lingine kwako eh, imelijifunza saa sa zingine unakuwa mtu wa huruma sana <laughs> unakuwa mtu wa huruma sana upende kusikia like eh, mtu ana complain na, na, na wakati nimekuja kujua wewe upendi mtu aki teta ni shida ndogo ndogo labda pia jambo likafanya naweza kuwa na shida na ogopa kukuambia uh-huh. labda ukasikia eh mkaba anaoga mkaba ni nini ah ni want to muone unjaniambia mkaba sasa <laughs> so, eh, wakati nili, nilijua wewe ni mtu pia unakuwa mse inabidi pia vitu zingine ni kufiche zile mtu ana go through anakuwa tight kidogo ku, kuzungumza kwa sababu unakuwa unasahau mambo yako labda una vitu zina zinakuhusu vifanye inabidi na unaingilia kati kaa nakumbuka siku moja ulinipata pale pa Kenya National Theater nime kaa sitaki kusema lolote niko na masimu za watu wa hospitali mashine nifanyeje mshahara yaingia tufa tuingie kazi ambia mkabsi lakini wakati simu iliingia ya hospitali ndio kajua so ni vitu ambavyo mimi eh, kuna mahali <laughs> bona cheka <laughs> mbona maisha maisha haya so ni vitu ambavyo mi mwenyewe kama mkabwa nimefanya pia mimi nijifunze eh okay, mbia pia mimi nakuanga mtu wa huruma sometimes lakini kwa kina wewe kumefanya niwe pia na niwe mtu wa kusikiza niwe mtu wa kusikiza mtu akiwa na shida hata kama siezi litatua naweza nikampa uh, advice eh, akalitatua eh hey, jambo lingine ambalo na niudhi sasa tunasema ya kuudhi na kufurahisha eh hey, wewe kushika simu <laughs> eh hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know eh, once nasikia watu wakisema ali ashike simu ali ashike simu ali ashike sasa mimi nashindwa mimi ndawasikia ndawaambiaje hao <laughs> na wewe unazipigaga pia mimi ndawaambiaje mimi mwenyewe na, napata shida na, na, na masuala ya kazi nataka tuzungumze lakini napata shida kukupata eh hata unasikia tu yale unataka kuambia mwana eh, eh, interview fulani kwa hapa nataka tufanyie hivi hivi na vile kidogo simu napiga hivi ndapata tu simu na kato simu na kato ah tuna hadi una give up lakini eh, mwisho wa siku oh, pia hata kama inakuwa ni hivyo unakuwa mtu wa kureply baadaye jambo ambalo linafanya pia linatia mtu moyo akiwa kazini kwa hiyo mahali ulikuwa umepiga like three times unaona eh, ana ana call back unaona ah, ni mambo ya kawaida sana yeah. Yeah. pengine kuna vitu ambavyo ulikuwa haujui mm. eh, kimaisha ama kikazi ama zupi ulijifunza mm. ulipoanza kufanya kazi Eh, mimi mwenyewe eh, eh, kwa, kwa ile interview ya kwanza nilikwambia mimi napenda mambo ya media tho sikusoma lakini vitu ambavyo vilikuwa kwa kwenye akili yangu so eh, mimi nikiwa nikikutana na yeye nilikuwa nilikuwa kama chef official hata hiyo chef sija somea vitu ambavyo viko kwa kwa damu 
So uh, kitu ambacho mimi nime nimefurahia sana. Uh, labda sisemi hivi kufurahia sana kwa sababu vile Frank alienda. Uh, nilifurahia sana kwa sababu wakati tulitembea na Frank nilikuwa naona venye ana, ana shoot na alikuwa ananifunza vitu 1 2 3 editing uh, and all that. So wakati Frank alienda tukakuwa na shida labda ya ku kidogo na kata labda huku juu na kata chini nini nini eh mimi mwenyewe nilifurahia kwa sababu saa hii naweza shoot naweza edit naweza black tu naweza yani kuna tu vitu nilivijua ambavyo sikuwa na vijua simu yangu ilikuwa najua inafaa ni, ni shoot ni post kwa status hata kupo, kwa upload youtube sikuwa najua kuweka zile title umeni umenionyesha umenifunza vitu vingi ambavyo pia hata saa hii bado naendelea kujifunza kwako yeah. amazing and now watu of course wanajiuliza so mkabwa anaondoka. Kwanza ni kwa nini anaondoka na pili anaondoka you know anaenda kufanya shughuli gani? Eh mimi msanii eh mimi pia mimi na familia na mimi mtu nafanya vitu vingi. Uh, wakati tuliongea na tulizungumza ile interview ya kwanza nilivisema nilivitaja nili, nili mmoja wao. Eh wakati tumekuwa na wewe umekuwa ukinipatia nafasi ya kwenda kupika nikipata event mahali E, wanaona hata labda hiyo video ikiisha mkabu ayuko e, nimekuwa nikisafiri nenda kitale nenda wapi tukiwa na wewe lakini na wako wanajua labda e, so kwa presenter ali ni familia ni familia yetu ambayo imetulipia ime ime bills na kwa maisha lazima tu mtu ubadilishe ma, mazingira wakati nilikuwa nimewaka na ali full time nilibadilisha yale mazingira mengine ili kujisacrifice nikuwe hapa uh, so before ni kuwe director wa ali kuna kitu nilikuwa nafanya. Yes. Eh, kuna, kuna, kuna kitu nilikuwa nafanya ndani ya Prisender Ali na nilikuwa nalipa mshahara before mwanza kujisikia mkabwa mkabwa mkabwa. So ye yeah, opportunity ya director wakati ilitokea ili hiyo time ilibidi ni nifanye kwa sababu ni jukumu ambalo lilikuja na kwa hakuna otherwise. Unaelewa? So for me eh sisi sema ati na, na, na quit Prisender Ali. Niko na mambo na catering niko nataka kusimamisha hiyo eh, catering. Yes na nataka pia kusimamisha mambo yangu ya music nirudi kwa ile juu kila time watu ngoma release lini ngoma release lini ndugu tukiwa na we full time eh, inakuwa ni vigumu kwenda studio inakuwa ni vigumu hata labda ni tukiwa kwa presenter kuna watu wame complain kwa nini siendi kuwapikia na watumanishia watu yes. so ni vitu ambavyo eh, ni nimekaa na wewe chini nikakwambia nataka Eh, eh, viende sawa hapa na hapa na yeah. mahali utanisupport hapa mahali pia pia ukinihitaji mimi nipo kwa sababu hapa ni nyumbani yeah. Yeah. wow amazing kwa hiyo mkabwa atakuwa anaondoka eh, tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwanza eh, mkabwa alikuja tukiwa 38000 na siku ya leo anaondoka tukiwa 245000 you guys can just imagine over 210000 subscribers ama over 202 1000 subscribers tumewapata tukiwa na mkabwa you can imagine mkabwa has been an amazing guy mkabwa has been very supportive and support ya mkabwa sijaipata tu pale behind the camera mkabwa has been more than a brother more than a friend mkabwa pia amekuwa mtu ambaye ananipa ushauri mkabwa amekuwa mtu ambaye ananicondemn nikikosea <laughs> ananishautia mkabwa muk- one of the one of the, some, kuna siku mkabwa amenipeleka mbio mpaka jamaa kaniuliza ah kati ya nyi wawili nani boss lakini <laughs> lakini inakuwa tu ni ile mkabwa kwanza ni mkubwa wangu na mimi namheshimu sana na nakutakia kila laheri kwenye safari yako mpya you know uh, not mpya kwenye hiyo safari ambayo unaenda kuendeleza mkabwa actually has a catering company inaitwaje Eric Mkabwa Eric Mkabwa Food Catering Services gentlemen yeah. yeah Eric Mkabwa Catering Services and you guys I would love if you guys really supported Mkabwa in any way ukiwa na event birthday party wedding zote just support him niteka namba yake pale kwenye hapo kwenye screen yani ukiwa na event yoyote ambayo unahitaji mtu ambaye atakupikia chakula zote tamu you know he is coming by the way for my muslim brothers kama mnataka mtu akupikia pilau mtu akupikia biryani mtu akupikia yani mapochopocho yote mkabwa is the guy and i will support him in any way i can i will support him more than you guys will see i will also make sure that tuneka adverts kwenye channel yetu each and every time mtaanza kuona in the new, near future mkabwa eric mkabwa catering services mtaanza kuona picha zinarana hapo i will love it and really appreciate kama watu wangu nguvu mtamshow love mtamshow support thank you so much mkabwa unataka kusema nini uh, 
kila time yani e, ukiona ali juu umeona mkabwa ukiona yes. mkabwa mahali juu umeona presenter ali kwa sababu yani e, nimepata ali akiwa switch na jambo ambalo linafanya lina, lina niamini presenter ali ni amekuwa kwa uh, platform kubwa na akanipokea Uh, sioni jambo lolote linaweza labda ama sioni mtu yeyote anaweza kuja kati akaambia ali ama akaniambia sijui kunaenda kunaenda hivi uh, mi vyote vyote tulipitia nilijua ni kazi na chochote uliniambia nilijua ni kazi chochote nilikwambia na joli ulijua ni kazi so mi nawaambia tu hapa ni home juu mkabwa ametoka si ati ufinye unsubscribe usi unsubscribe yani wewe sasa tuendelee naambia rafiki ambia rafiki tuendelee tusonge kwa sababu tume agree tukifika mimi sisemi sisemi 300 nasema nataka tukutane pale kwa 500 tukisherekea tukikula kitu pale Kilimanjaro mambo yawe sawa yeah i've, I've actually uh, talked to one of the restaurants mm-hmm. here in Nairobi and wamenembea kwamba to hit 500,000 before the year ends they're going to give us a very big space for a party mm-hmm. exclusively party your subscribers so i will be able to choose random subscribers and you might be one of them party ni abure mnaingia pale mnakula mnakunywa so road to 500k <laughs> watu wangu nguvu yeah. and this one i'll be telling you guys every day if we hit 500,000 subscribers i have a restaurant uh, tukishamaliza mambo ya, ya karatasi ku sign and everything nitakuwa na mention and you guys tutafanya a free party ya 500,000 where all subscribers will be uh, watakuwa watakuwa invited na kuna wale watakuwa specially invited wakule for free na wa enjoy for free so subscribe 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 tell your friend to tell your friend to tell a friend to subscribe thank you very much mukabwa yeah. uh, asante sana nimefurahia sana and it's really sad to see you go and i really wish kwamba hautaenda mbali sana siku uko free unanitafuta siku uko siku director captain ameugua kidogo na kuja unashikilia pale nyuma and of augui alasemaje huyu unajua tushaenda na ivasha ile siku ya tulishikwa na corona ile siku ya nani ya alikiba na nini tulishikwa na corona bro kama si mrendana kama si mrendana ni lakini vile tulikuwa tumesafiri sana tumetoka Mombasa direct paka naivasha alafu hiyo baridi ya naivasha kuna hakuna plan hapana unajua ya Mungu ni mengi huwezi jua hizi ni mili bro that day that day nakumbuka that day nakumbuka mkabwa akiniambia yeye nilikuwa nakohoa sana hata leo niko na homa nilikuwa nakohoa sana mkabwa akaniambia unaona au kuli mrenda au kuli mrenda alafu jioni jioni kufika kufika kwa nyumba akaniambia eh mwana nimekohoa damu <laughs> Na ndakula bro asubuhi na jiandaa kutoka juu alikuwa ameniambia ameshindwa kuamka. Eh nasikia nimebanwa ka nimebanwa kweli. Nikasema hapana jiandaa bafuni. Kufika bafuni nikakooa ile ya ile ujina kataa inakataa ikikuja. Alafu wakati litoka hivi ni damu. Huyu amelemewa. Yaani paka mimi Eh hey, mimi yani lakini tunashukuru Mungu tuli ilikuwa mambo mengi na mkabwa. Hivyo vitu vinafanya uh, ukikumbuka nyuma una mbele unakaa na watu vizuri. Yeah. Like, ile before ni, ni, ni sahau kimalizia. Usisahau kuja kwangu pia. Eh, subscribe. Sana sana hizo subscribe subscription hizo yeah. tunazihitaji sana sana sana. Nataka huyo director mpya 2000 eh. 1.35 eh. 1.35. Na kikuja alikuwa 300 so we can see the growth lakini sasa hivi umepata pia time ya wakati unapika una shoot videos zako unachukua time una edit so i really wish you well kwa safari yako usiache content creation endelea ku push unajua kuna mahali pengine pia una push kule home na yale mambo ya computer and everything i want you to ujifunze kila siku usiache kujifunza mambo ya camera jifunze 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 because learning huwa yeah. hata mimi kila siku na kachi ninaangalia interviews za watu yeah. ambao ni wae kubwa na wako juu, juu yangu zaidi yeah, sure. kwa hivyo hata kwenye kupishi we jiongeze kwenye kushoot jiongeze kwenye content creation jiongeze mina yani mina kuheshimu sana yani umekuwa miongoni mwa marafiki na watu ambao watabaki kuwa familia yangu kwa hivyo i really wish well in everything and thank you so much for your time sana sana mina shukura yeah.
Okay, mimi ni presenter Ali your entertainment PA. The A is always for amazing big shout out kwa mwanangu nguvu behind the camera anaitwa director captain nimekuwa nikipiga story na director mukabu au kipenda muite mukabs anyways siku zote ukitaka kufanikiwa usipende kusifiwa and i'll see you guys in the next one